Hi. Today's video will cover the Coupon Manager and the Coupon Manager Pro. We've upgraded all of the websites to now have Coupon Manager Pro, so Coupon Manager is really no longer needed. So let's do this with Coupon Manager Pro right here. So we're going to write Coupon Manager Pro, we click on that, and we'll create a coupon. And why is this important? The value to the coupons is if you want to, uh, for example, work with a church or some sort of charitable organization, or maybe you'd like to put something on sale, you would want to give someone a coupon uh, as a reason to come back to your store. We all know the value of 20% off at the store, and this would be a good way for you to keep getting customers coming back to your store. So let's add a new coupon right here. We're going to add a new coupon. And what code do you want to give it? So right now, let's say that we're going to call it test. What's the coupon for? Is it going to be for $2 off or is it going to be for 10% off? We have to tell the system what to do. So. I don't necessarily, in my opinion, I don't necessarily want to give a dollar amount off because what if they only chose a $10 product? I don't want to give them $5 off. So I would choose to go with percentage. You could do whatever you want to do, of course. You're free to do what you want. This is your site. But for this discussion and for this example, we'll do a percentage. So let's say I'm going to give them 15% off. I enter it. And when does that coupon expire? It would be, of course, sometime in the future. So let's say we, I'm going to allow this particular coupon to run until the end of this year, the end of 2012. So we would write that as, here it shows you the format. So we would write that as 12, 31, 2012, product ID. Do we want to keep it for, do we want to make this coupon be available for anything throughout the whole entire store, any product? Or does it want to be for a specific product? That would be the product ID, which is the item number, which was covered in a previous video. That would be the database number or the category. The category could be, for example, crystals. Uh, anything in the crystal category, would ha this coupon would be uh, operational, be able to be used. We're going to, for the sake of uh, this video, we're going to have the coupon be available throughout the entire store. Quantity, how many coupons are we going to give out to people? Is there a quantity of one and the coupon can only be used once and only once? Is there going to be a thousand coupons? It's totally up to you. So we can give people an unlimited amount of coupons. So let's put down 900 just because I like that number right now. Minimum means they must spend a minimum amount of money. I'll leave that blank. I don't want to have my customer stopped from spending money. I want a sale. Now, how many uses can a particular customer, how many times can a particular customer use this coupon? So let's say they can use it an unlimited amount of times. I'm just putting down 600 just because I happen to like that number right now. We're finished. Click here on the bottom, add new coupon to the database, and that's it. Now you'll see here we've created this whole new coupon. There's 900 of them, and there's 15% off on anything that they purchase throughout the store. There's 600 uses. So far, none have been used. When it does actually get used, you'll be able to view the orders 
that it was used on. And of course, if you no longer want to use this coupon or have it uh, uh, be in existence, like anything else, you can always delete it. And that's it. Thank you.